How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all enjoying the new Warzone. So today we have a few different guns for you to use to try out. Not claiming that they're the meta but just ones that I've enjoyed using and I've seen other people enjoy using as well. So without further ado guys we'll get right into it now and I hope you enjoy the video. So up first we have the Baz B. Now this is built for close to mid range. It absolutely slaps. Really really powerful. Can use it at longer ranges but the recoil is a little bit hard to balance out. But you want to use the Bruin Harmonic Suppressor to stay off the map. Then you want the Wyvern's Respeat Long Barrel, the VX Pineapple Underbarrel, Aim Op V4 Optic, but obviously that is your choice. But this is good for those closer to mid range gunfights. And then the 45 round mag. You can also swap the stock, you can put the Ravage 20 Heavy stock on it instead of the VX Pineapple Underbarrel. But they're pretty similar, but me personally, I just like using the VX Pineapple. So give this one a go. The DG56 or the FAMUS. Now you want to be using the VT Spitfire Suppressor, the CDT, CGG T25 Light Barrel, the High Grain Rounds 40 Round Mag and the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 Optic. Obviously you can change that as well, but this thing absolutely slaps. In a few bursts you're going to die in the enemies, so give this one a go as well. Now the DM56, this thing is the marksman rifle, now this absolutely slaps, you'll see a lot of the streamers using this one, there's a few different builds going around but this one feels good, you've got the VT7 Spitfire Suppressor again, Prime Lord Heavy Barrel, Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 Optic, Holger Recoil Pad and the 40 round mag. Now this thing you can tap quite a lot, it reminds me of the DMR off the old Warzone, so yeah it just feels really good, quite accurate as well and only a few shots to kill. Before Warzone come out, a lot of people were talking how the TAC Eradicator was going to be the meta, but I haven't seen a lot of people using it, but really give this one a go. It's good at pretty much all ranges, apart from close, but you're going to have your sub machine gun for that. But you want the VT7 Spitfire Suppressor, Conqueror 70 Long Barrel, the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 Optic again, the TAC for it Core Stock, and the FSS Combat Grip. Now, what I love about the TAC is it comes with a 75 round mag automatically, so there's no really need to add on 150 round drum mag. But this one is really good, it just slaps and give it a go. If you want to use a sniper, I highly recommend this build for the cat. You're going to put on the Sonic Suppressor XL, Zang 34 barrel, the Spire Point rounds, Precision Stock Pad, and the Effie Mural Quick Bolt. Now, it's not the fastest snipers, but this will down anybody at any range with a headshot and will break people's armour anywhere else on the body and it'll down them with another shot. Feels really good, best at long range. But you can use it closer, it can be a little slow as I said, but it's worth trying out if you like your sniping. Now for your secondary, you want to be using the WSP Swarm. This thing is just crazy up close. Now how I've got it built is for sort of ADS speed and mobility. So obviously it's going to kill people up close, there's no match for this gun. Not the best recoil control at range, but obviously you're going to be using your main weapon. Now you want to use the WSP Infiltrator Integrated Suppressor on the barrel, and then the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip, FSS Fortress Heavy Stock, WSP Hark Rubber Grip, and the 40 round mag. As I said, this thing is pretty much the meta, but I've got an alternative SMG if you don't like using it said if you don't want to use the swarm you can use the rival this thing's a lot more easy to control it will also just kill very close range you can also kind of use mid-range as well so you want the monolithic suppressor rival c clear shot barrel nine millimeter hollow point rounds and ammunition 50 round drum mag and the mtz marauder stock now this thing feels amazing Personally, I use this over the swarm because I just prefer the recoil control on it. Feels a lot better. So, yeah, give this one a go too. Now, that's all we have time for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you found these useful or you're going to try them out, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe it really helps that channel. Also, let me know what other content you'd like to see. So, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed once again. I'll see you all in the next one.